Uh, Coach said the other day, confidence is a dangerous thing. Uh, why don't we use the word rhythm? It seems like your team's in a pretty good rhythm of late. Yeah, we are. You know, when you, you don't have all those days off for the practices, it's kind of nice to just get in a, in a routine and a groove. And, you know, you can respond to things that you didn't like or build on things that you did like, uh, you know, the next day or the, the following day. Uh, and it's good for the players. Um, so with that in mind and a bit of a break in games coming up, how important is it to try to collect a couple more points here this afternoon? Well, break or no break, it's a divisional game and a team that you know we're tied with going into the game so it's, it's a big game for us to obviously uh, try to jump them in the standings which would be real nice so uh, very important two points. Uh, is this um, starting to kind of get that playoff feel that rivalry feel that we're used to with the Marlies now that we're into uh, the fifth game against them this season? I think so I mean they, they don't we don't like each other just simply because the points are so huge head to head and playing them so many times during the season same as Lavelle so uh, I, I like having a rivalry I like when it's an emotional game and uh, I think guys feed off of it. Um, how important is it to control uh, emotions in, in games like that? We know things are getting more physical. Uh, we're starting to see penalties called uh, maybe a little bit more frequently. How big of a piece is that uh, part of things? Starting to see penalties called. Jeepers. No, I think it's controlled emotion. Uh, I love emotion. You can't play deadpan, but uh, obviously there's a line, and sometimes we have guys that cross it, but I'd rather pull them back off the line and then try to push them to it. So I, I'm an emotional guy. They play with emotion, and, and I think guys feed off of that. Um, it's been a busy stretch. Um, have you had much of an opportunity to keep an eye on Dylan Hetherington and uh, Jorian Donovan, who are representing Canada right now? I have. I've watched them, and I think they've both been outstanding. I think Jorian's uh, playing his way up the lineup, which is great. And then uh, Heater's Heater. I think I was watching the game the other day where he stayed out for the full two minutes of a penalty kill, which uh, we see him do often with us here in Belleville. So love to see them having a great experience, and hopefully they can both uh, come home with some hardware. Yeah, and will be nice to have uh, them both back for sure. Um, looking at uh, this afternoon's game, uh, the success has been there against Toronto. Just try to replicate what's been working so far. Yeah, I think so. I think we've done some things that we've done well, but I think the last game they exposed some areas of our game that we've addressed uh, the last couple days and tried to tighten that area up and not uh, depend so much on uh, our goaltending to make those 10 bell saves and to limit the, you know, those high danger shots. But uh, you know what? We've, we've had success with them. I'm sure they're going to make adjustments and we gotta we got to bring what we think is going to work against these guys. Uh, any changes from uh, Thursday against Laval? No, nope, same lineup. Perfect. Thanks, Coach. Good luck this afternoon. Thank you.